Survivalist Journal to the Omni Wastes, written by Ariana Starr, narrated by Justin Hewitt. Survivalist Journal to the Omni Wastes, Entry 1, The Flay Hornet, Wednesday, June 18th, 2036, 10.16 p.m. It was only last night when our group came across a woman who was in bad shape. She appeared to be covered in hive-like bumps, which she claims to have been caused by football-sized hornets. I wouldn't have believed it myself if it weren't for those massive, swelling wounds all over her body. The doctors have been tending to her since. Our group's doctors may not be the best in the wastes, but they sure are experienced. They treat everything from radiation sickness to broken bones, which is what makes this situation so strange. They sound so grim when talking about that woman. They're being so secretive about the whole situation, diagnosing her with pain from insect bites. They're telling us nothing more. I'm writing this journal entry as a precaution if anything goes amiss. Not am I only concerned about our safety, but the young woman's as well. I just want to make sure we're making the right decision. The doctor suggested we leave her behind, as if she's some sort of risk to our survival. The hunters recommended that we burn her alive to avoid any predators from thinking we're easy prey. We're losing our minds with such nonsense choices. The damned woman isn't even dead yet, and we're already talking about body disposal. Without losing our humanity, we've come up with an option where we're not responsible for her death, and we're not giving her a chance to heal up and get better. So, for tonight, we've decided to seek shelter at an abandoned barn with a nearby shed. She's locked in the shed now. I doubt a single one of us is sleeping right now. If there was a god, why would he make us feel so bad for doing the right thing? Wednesday, June 18th, 2036, 11.45 p.m. The screams are so loud. I've never heard a human being scream so loud in my life. You'd think she was getting her fingers cut off one by one with shears if you were without prior knowledge. It's so hard to think. I wouldn't doubt that half of us are hoping she tires herself out. If she passes out so we can get some sleep. I'm going to try to shut my eyes. The only thing I can do. Thursday, June 19th, 2036, 8.42 a.m. I woke up to silence. An airy feeling that makes my gut wrench. We will be drawing straws in a few minutes to see who has to go in to check on her. I'm praying to every god imaginable I don't get picked. The sound she made last night will be haunting my dreams for the next while. I know it. I'd hate to feel the horror any more with imagery. We don't have high hopes for her. She's most likely dead. Nameless and without a grave. Thursday, June 19th, 2036, 9-11 a.m. We should have burned her. We should have burned her. Oh my god, we should have burned her. Opening that shed door was our doom. Our curiosity has killed us all. Once opened, a half dozen giant hornets came flying out, stinging us as quickly as they could. They favored stinging our backs, as if they knew something we didn't. Our fates are sealed. We killed off as many as we could with rifle fire and flamethrowers. We're counting the injured now. I got stung on my left arm. I'm scared. I don't have time to put the timer date in. It hurts. It fucking hurts so much. There's about eight of us stung. Some of us upwards of about four times. The pain grows every second. No relief of numbness. There's a lineup for the doctors to try to remove these fuckers. They laid their eggs in us. I think it's been an hour or two since we opened that damn shed. I'm sure the eggs have hatched already. The pain grows and moves. I'm ready to flay my own skin to get this thing out of me. Thursday, June 19th, 2036, 4 o'clock p.m. I couldn't stand it. I was the lucky one. I did flay my arm. I sliced my own flesh, lifting my own skin to get that thick larvae out. The pain was already at the highest I have ever felt. Cutting didn't add anything. I pity those who got stung in the back. I pray that they burn them. I'm currently distancing myself from the group, leaving as fast as I could. No time to take anything but my journal. Those hornets. If they missed one, they're all fucked. I'm calling them flay hornets. I need to seek refuge somewhere so I can tend to my arm. I used to think an open wound was the most dangerous thing in the wastes. God, was I ever wrong. <laughs>